Hello, hello, hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Um, last time out we met the elusive man and we got our new Normandy ship. Today we're just going to go around the Normandy ship, chat to people and check out all the stuff that it has to offer. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers, I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Now that's a good thing with the Sherman Chambers. Um, you can talk to her and she tells you if there's anything that what needs your attention, like if any of the, if anyone would need to speak to you or anything like that, so she's you pretty helpful. I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. <laughs> now that's an enticing thought. A bit of flirting with your assistant. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. I okay. think we'll leave that there. We'll talk later. And then here, you've got your private terminal, which can check up on your team. Yeah, that's how many characters you can have. There's a lot of characters. Um, so yeah, at the moment we've only got Miranda and Jacob to be fair, but oh, we can change their appearance. I think you can for Jacob. Uh, yeah, just generally look at info, uh, upgrades. You can review your, upgra <coughs> your upgrades that you've got, um, any messages and stuff. Some of these messages, like you read them, um, and you can you can get missions from them as well, so they are worth going through and reading. Obviously, I'm not going to read all these, but if you want to pause it, I'll leave it up for a couple of seconds. This is just telling us about the people that we can go and recruit. And this is one of the ways like a mission, or ways you can get a mission. We've got the Normandy crash site. And then just some... A few more missions. Mm 
that is another one of your team members you can get. <laughs> your status has been changed from deceased to alive. So yeah, that's pretty much a private terminal. I've just gone through my codex and got rid of everything. So it won't flash in her. Let's go and talk to Joker. Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> It's not Just the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. Mm, be got a good pun. I hope so. I this... die. Yeah, you are such a downer. Why would they uh, screw you over and spend all this about near on you? What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions. Ooh, like not what? what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. That is weird. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Well, that is that impressive. incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. Well, that is true. The Geth and that, they're all, and the Reapers are all advanced AI, really, aren't really, they? Logging you out, Shepard. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of seats not filled. Retrofits are always a pain in the ass. Oh, what was that? Oh, there we go. So, let's go around the ship. Right at the moment, well, some of these side rooms are locked. It's like the tech lab, that's when you, uh... Is required to use the technical laboratory. Yeah, once you get a scientist and places it unlock. Weapons locker, we don't really need to look at that. There we go, all the weapons you can get, just lay that on the table. Oh, just having those around, there's Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the illusion blown up and dead. Talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Ooh, I appreciate your honesty. Your clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Ooh. 
nice chat, Jacob. Actually, we'll have a quick chat with Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks. Get to know the crew. Let's do this later. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? All right. We'll talk later. That he really wants Command. to talk. Sorry, he seems very by the book and matter of fact. Now oh, this is the briefing and the comms room. Don't really need to open the door. Then. Because we have a lift. No, we don't want. Commander, you received a new message at your private Ooh, terminal. A new message. So this new message is first. Oh, I well, just hadn't said that I'd read the ones that I've got. Right, so we're on the comment. We've got cruise quarters, engineering, and the captain's cabin. We'll do the captain's cabin left. Last, we'll go down to engineering because there's not much down there, so we can just have a wander around and then go up a level. <laughs> oh, so it's always just click on everything, unless it's ED. Don't really need to talk to her. And here we go, here's engineering. That is what we saw through the glass earlier, what powers the ship. It's very dark in here, isn't it? It's not really lit. And here we've got You came all the way down here to see us? No, I did. You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something yeah. like that already Why installed? Why don't you have that? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Mm -hmm. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? We'll ask about that. Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures. Ken to Cerberus. You'd said, I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Are you set up okay down here? No, I'll Outside just... of those T6 FBA couplings we mentioned, we are doing fine. We're I good. We could find them in the Omega. Anything mark. else? Uh, why did Gabby join Cerberus? Gabby. Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Carry on. Well, do Commander. Yep. So we can I'm go to Omega and find the FDA couplings. Have a wander around, make sure we look in every nook and cranny. There's not really that much to look on, considering the size of the ship. Nope, that's the engineering deck again.
Is that? Oh, that's just the wall cooking in the other side. Oh. There you go. Oh, there's a lift. And now we'll go up to the cruise quarters where Miranda's stationed. Have a look in the cricket. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Carry on. Look to see here. I'm just stuck. Uh, the women's restroom? Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. What the hell's that? So you just, you just be sat on the toilet there and someone walks through the door? Or have a shower and someone just walks in? Not, not designed very efficiently, is it? <laughs> oh, terrible. What that's all about. We need to walk round. Let's have a look in the medical lab. Access to the AI core is restricted. And here we find an old friend if you've played the first one. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Yeah. Oh, you needn't. We got the doctor. It's expensive. Chocolates. And we have Chocolate. much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position. But it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus, I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the so survival of loyalty. the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. There we go, we've got another mission to find some brandy. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the That sounds like another mission, getting some nice food. That day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be a service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? 
No, I won't take any more of your time. I'm not going to say Miranda. And this is where Miranda's hold up. Her own little private office. Well, office slash quarters. So let's see what she has Hello. to say. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Yep, Cerberus I Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Genetically what genetic modified. modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also Not very too bad. advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's Didn't I just ask this? Physic my biotic abilities are yeah. to that some of the best training and education money can buy. But there we go. Well, it's Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Well, of course, so, Amanda, we've gone around, got to know the crew. So, that will be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll be taking the ship and going on a mission. Um, oh! I forgot to look at the captain's cabin, but like that. We're going to have a look at the captain's cabin. Yeah, all these little ships here, look. You can go around, you can collect some ships. Uh, you have private terminals up here as well, so if you need to... If you need to read your messages. Hmm. Hmm. I'm guessing these are all the achievements you can get. Uh, I don't know, that's ED. We don't want to talk to her. Nice little fish tank. You can customise your armour. you got your bed. You can select some music. Let's turn that off. That's a bit too loud. But yeah, not much to do in your cabin at the moment so we'll go back to the combat information center so yeah that will be the end of this episode uh thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have um give me a subscribe um i can comment and all that lovely good stuff and um, i shall see you guys in the next episode see you later